What's up guys, this is the Revan and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off of last time, we destroyed the Russians, and we have also begun attacks again against the Marathi Confederacy. This time, well it's mostly to do with mopping up these stacks that are in that are on the, the Indian border, because we do need to push inland as well with our with our conventional forces in addition to our amphibious assault forces. So as part of that, I want to start leapfrogging my stacks forward. So this time we're going to engage Jaikanth Hakani and his army with the army of Keith Keats. So let's do it. We could wait and just attack the... Not wait, but I mean, we could just attack just standing here, trying to respond to us, but that's not as fun. Let's attack them on all fronts. We'll collapse. Ooh, this is a nice little spot as well. Okay, let's get you all out of the way. Lovely. Let's put... Let's pick a unit of guards to hold this bit here. Let's pick... A fusiliers and a couple of bits, a couple of units of line infantry to hold... Maybe one too many. Well, well, I want my fusiliers in the centre, that's for darn sure. Let's throw a bit of fire upon them as they get into the into the village. I mean, this artillery position is a bit dodge. They're going to be hitting trees and lots of other junk. Just stand up and take the take the path, take the road. Good. No, we've, only, well, we've only got a few a few units covering this flank. Because this, you're here covering the gap between the uh, the artillery and the houses. So let's put some cuirassiers on the right. Curassiers on the left, further to the left. Heavy horse howitzers on in a bit of a defilade. Look at Unleash Hell, Keith Keats is in the centre. So let's get all of my artillery to immediately go after their large mortars. Actually, they're not even firing, so... Good god, they're just doing a mass charge. No, don't retreat! Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. So. More elephants are a bit dodgy. Where's our general? What happened to him? Jesus. I got hit by artillery. God, that's a lot of cover on the flank. Like, what have you guys? Like, what are you guys doing? No. Oh. Like, oh god, oh good god, this has gone spectacularly badly wrong. Like, what are they doing? They had charged on this flank. God, there's my ele those are elephants as well. I know charging my infantry is not a good thing, but we need to do something. So 
So this square formation needs to hold as well as it can. Finally broken on the flank, so it's sim it should be a simple case of them being able to mop us up. Just keep the squares going. Yeah, it's fairly simple matter to chase after that set of guns because they've gone too far in the centre. We are picking away at their elephants abandon the howitzers just keep the squares strong Hindu warriors are charging in good the war elephants are broken Okay, so let's... Charge my cavalry straight on. And let's run my infantry round. Because my guns are falling, which is okay. All my squares have to do is just survive and kill as many cavalry as they can. The elephants are a tricky proposition. Especially when you don't have artillery to support, but... Okay, you go in there. Okay, you ride on and kill the camels. Not kill the camels, kill the guns. Let's run you over here. Oh, don't you move. You stay where you are. These three units have to sacrifice themselves. Good stuff. Oh... Hold fire at will. Avoid the stakes. Let's pull these guys back. These guys have to kind of stay where they are because they're doing lots of good stuff against the cavalry. Let's get my... Just get this infantry to leg it. They keep trying to break my square, but they won't break it. Let's unlimber this lone gunner I've got. March these gunners on to go face the camels. Ooh, good stuff. It's one camel team dealt with.
Good stuff. Let's keep them at range for now. Because this is the general. But I do have one gun team in position. This is a bit this is a bit of a pretty dodgy battle, if I must say so myself. Let's quick climb the camel gunners. Although it sounds like they're charging in, so it will be the good old square formation. There we go. And they've got within range to be engaged by my regular muskets. It's coming how it's just to hit them. Yep, it's not going so well for you, is it, camel gunners? Was, this was a messy battle. Good, the artillery's coming in. Killed the enemy general. Poor old Keith Keats. And that's the end of the battle. I do want to continue. Because I kind of have to continue. in order to maximise the damage against the Indian factions. Two men, good, you go after them. Ignore the ignore the cavalry. Because they're just elephants anyway. Oh, they're gonna make it. Close victory, that was a bit dodgy. Whew. So this army might be a bit neutered as they wait for, actually they have to wait for anything, it's just a new general. Men, forward. Clarence Dennett. You've knocked them in that direction. Oh dear, this is a bit of a this is a supporting army there consistently. Are no troops stationed at this fort. As things stand, it could easily be occupied by an enemy army. So there's the first enemy. Let's just move out of there our forts. And drive eastwards. Good stuff, I think. Yep, heroic death of Keith Keats shot by artillery right off the bat. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. Fabian Paulson, go chop up these. Oh. Well, they're not going to run away. We have horses. Good stuff. Let's repair the farm, let's repair the pleasure gardens. Good stuff. Okay, now this is going to be super dodgy. Although, actually, here it's only the general that's repair, replacing, replenishing. I could probably do with knocking the guns down. Ready for order. And probably getting some more infantry into the mix. Get two units of marines into here. There we go, that looks like a good army to have for, on the defence. Fabian Paulson's doing, done, done really well, he's done a decent cavalry commander. Cool, let's hit end turn. Oh, I didn't organise more of my army through the Baltic. Dang it. So lots of forces are moving north, so if I land an army, I want to land to the south. Oh, this is this is gonna be This is gonna be a bloody battle, and it's probably gonna be a loss, I think. Our reinforcing army is the stronger army. Because these guys have not got the support they need. Let's pick. Okay, let's do something like this, because the, art the artillery is the least useful thing to get onto the field. For me at the moment, I think. But let's try hold on. If we've already got some breaches, we have a chance. We're going to make a boatload more. Um, it be a loss, 
but we are the United States who've conquered the world. No one starts a war, or rather, no one in his senses ought to. Yeah. God damn it, class. Ruining all the war quotes. We can't come up with any these days. Um, but yes, I think. So, do you have breaches? They're not going to come from that direction. They're probably going to make a whole load of breaches. Fortunately, that also means there's less wall for us to cover. So, let's put some marines into a... Actually, no, don't do that. Let's put... All our weak units that we can't do much with deploy cavalry defences. And the gates are open. To be honest, we could end up doing something like this. Where we literally just defend the... Where we form a battle line inside the fort. Let's get... Because, I mean, they might... Yeah, they might run all the way around here. And come in through the back. So let's put howitzers at the rear. So let's say not to defend the walls at all. I mean, it, well, it would be nice if we could get some. If we could shoot. If we could kill them as they came into the gap. But then. At least with this, we end up giving ourselves some artillery support. Okay, so let's deploy some grenadiers on the flank. Or at least a unit of grenadiers. Let's put some far like armed citizenry in, in the armoury. And to be honest, these smaller units, that's where they're going to fall back to, these buildings, and then they can just pick at them. So then we end up having a regiment of horse, our general, and these chaps as support. And rather than actually being support, I am going to deploy them like this. So cavalry charges have a chance of being broken up before they even get to us. Then my artillery, fire, halt fire at will. I think that's got to be it. So you guys fall back. I'll stay with the round shot for now. Because what I like, I might, have to, I might deploy them on this flank just to keep them safe. I want to deploy some stakes with my, with my Pennsylvania rifles. Here come the first scamps. Get inside the house before you get caught out in the open. Well, so I'm going to kill some Pennsylvania rifles, but I need to get them into the house, otherwise. So, like, I don't know why they decided to stop outside, and it's like, well, no. Oh, see, look. 
I sent them to run inside, but because they stopped here for... Because the game said, I want to attack those. And the game went, oh, go on then, you can attack them. Okay, let's... So these guys won't hold off for many determined assaults, but they might get some kills. And it'll provide an easy way for... Hey, deaths. It'll provide an easy way for us to get some reinforcements. I think I need to keep my howitzers firing at their, uh, their artillery to try and disable it. Or attempt to disable it. Look at all these guns. Oh good, they came back. I mean, it's a bit of a naff. Oh, well, they do. Oh, there is a hole here. Let's put some grenadiers. Put some grenadiers here. On the Hindu warriors. Blast them with. You engage the musketeers, you just stop what you're doing. Hey, they must have pushed the Hindu war. Hey, pushed them back. Good old line infantry. Oh, and these guys, these dervishes are attacking. Farlock Armour Citizenry. Fire some shrapnel at these guys. That would be lovely. Bam! Bam! Good, no easy wins. Cavalry stakes doing a good job. Usually, for some reason, if I deploy them too close to the holes, they normally just like hop over them. So, good mass route. Like these guys. Oh yeah, they are actually trying to attack me. Let's dump these grenadiers onto them as well. Let's halt fire up well by the infantry. Is that more cavalry? So that's the dervish is gone. Go for the Hindu warriors. Good lads. I'm losing more ground than I would like. Good lads. Let's keep them both together now. They're just trying to destroy the buildings. The scabs. Okay, let's speed up time again. They're going to sit there shooting in pot shots from the flank, which is fine. 
If I manage to do any damage, I manage to destroy a gun team. Like, I could do... I could do quick lime shot, but to be honest, they're moving so slowly into the fort, it will take a very long time for reinforcements to actually show up. Particularly if it's going to be... Oh, no! I say, particularly if it's going to be cavalry, cavalry from this side of the map. Because their result is going to be a lot of death. Like they make it around this side, they get shot at, they run into some more stakes, then they rout. These guys might be a bit more, a bit more resilient. Actually, if they deploy square like that, I can just keep my guys out. I might just keep them to keep these guys deployed in square formation anyway. Turn firewall off. It's because these guys will... <laughs> oh, they're falling back and they will die on the spikes again. Some more cavalry dying on the spikes. Poor old lancers and they'll die trying to rout as well. Like, ooh, who do you shoot at? Who do you attack? You obviously attack a unit that's in square formation, but you will die on the way in and you will die on the way out. Well, I might keep them in square though. And if this far away, these guys can keep shooting. Um, peasantry are finally coming in the gates. So these guys are going to have a hell of a time. You steady for now, until you start losing a bunch of your cavalrymen. Yep, and you're broken, and you're gone. These guys that have come back want to try again. Now the first infantry have started to show up, which is more problematic. Peasantry might might actually get that. Ah, they've charged through this gate again, have they? Pull back inside the gate. Turn fight all back on. Now the door's closed. Good, lots of cavalry being knocked back. So let's speed up time. So, the armed peasantry could win this because there's only so much I can actually do. So let's get my guns round shot, ping the armory. If you can knock it down, that would be wicked. So how does my counter battery efforts doing? Terrible. So I might just abandon it. And I should go after the pikemen. Good, so that's the musketeer unit routed. More musketeers, more light infantry, got full artillery. It's 
Turn firewall off. I might get my artillery to actually fire at these guys preemptively. Because they'll be so darn effective at it. I'm playing this, it's like, oh, the doors are open again. But I'm not trying to get out. I want these guys to have reloaded before I turn on. Ooh, you, you're not, why are you not firing? Oh, you've run out of ammo. Fire a well. Crash the volleys into the Hindi musketeers. That would be a lovely quick climb shot right now. Shrapnel shot the musketeers. That's the end of them. So my Continental Marines, let's get them out. If they have no ammo, they are useless. Same with these guys, to be honest. Let's get them out. And these guys, let's get them out. I want to make these guys... I want to withdraw these guys, pretty much. These guys are just not helpful now. Come on, lads. Everyone get out of there. I want these guys to fall back and retreat. And I might actually send a regiment of... Oh no, their infantry's coming back. Oh, I can't withdraw. Okay, well then I'm going to run you out. Sorry, guys. Go fight them and preferably be destroyed. These, some, I might lose some of these guys to shrapnel shot. Good. If they kill him, that would be perfect because then our, our reinforcement would come in on the field immediately. Hey, killed the general with quick line. Or oh, we must have. Maybe we shot him. Fire at the general's bodyguard with your guns. This is the perfect opportunity. <gasps> oh god, our reinforcements come in. Right where theirs come in. Okay, you charge that charge their gun teams. job of these guys is to charge their gun teams and stand here and fire at whoever comes in. Hold them up. Right, 
like these poor Hindu warriors. Well, these poor men. They're about to just... I'm just going to lose them all to fighting against the Hindu warriors. Maybe run them over here. God, I just lost a bunch of my guys. I bet it is because of the Hindu warriors. Okay. Okay, let's... I got my headphones on the right way. Yeah, I do. It sounds back to front to me. Into my head, there's potential for me to form a little barricade to swallow up people who try to form square, halt fire. Let's do something like this. Let's get my cavalry out here and smash them up. Because this would be very handy because it would mean I can spend my time fighting like... Far well off for them, in case they end up. So my cavalry is gonna have a crack at them. So I probably want to set my infantry up like so. Because once they route, that will be good. So these guys are gonna have a decent pop at them. Cavalry's routing. Ooh, lots of death. Quick lime shells, have a go at the Hindu warriors. I guess the idea is once these guys come in, my guys can just shoot the hell out of them. Let's pull my cavalry out again. We can so let's go send my US Marines over here. There we go, that'll help a lot. comes another unit of armed peasantry. So I'm going to let my cavalry run and die in this combat. So when they rout or die I'll get some another more troops coming in. Present, Marines. This is just armed peasantry, so... Should be okay. Especially after under massed volleys. Not 
They are going to make it into the combat. Come on, get these, kill these Hindu warriors. Good. Let's get him up here. Go on, fire. Come, Marines, charge the dervishes. Get everyone in. If we can get them in and kill them quick enough, we can get them to route faster. Although, I do know no one else is coming from this corner of the map, so this could be the end of this stack, which would be nice. In which case, I'll let those guys carry on marching. Oh, we've got rockets coming in now. Gonna mob them just to A to make them route and B to make them cause as many casualties to as many units as possible so that no one unit is critically critically affected. There we go, so we've got them surrounded. Good. So then these forces we can march up. With fire, well, off. So they don't wish. They don't wish to actually charge us very much. So I might just speed up the time a little bit. The rockets are landing short. Enemy cavalry is coming in, so I wonder if they're all going to try and push. Or well, they're all just going to rebalance over towards here. It's a lot of cavalry, but the trouble is, this is quite a killing zone. Because as they charge into my squares, they will be shot at by my skirmishers. Yes, Which has already caused lots of cavalry death. So I've only got one gun because they managed to kill, they managed to destroy one of my crews, one of my pieces. So let's just keep dropping quick climb on as many people as we possibly can. Right now they're in a bit of a pickle, because they've got lots of cavalry, but I've got lots of decent cavalry defences. I don't suppose you guys can shoot at them. No, they cannot. Oh, come some more horsemen. Yeah, like they're being... They're charging squares, they're being shot in the flanks. Because these are Pennsylvania rifles, they're pretty accurate. Okay, let's bring over a smaller unit of native infantry. Actually, no, the native infantry unit can't form squares. That's a bad idea. Got to bring over this unit of line infantry and form a few, a few smaller squares. As my remaining infantry marches onto the field. See, right now they've got so many ineffective units on the battlefield, it's actually quite handy because it means they can't swarm. And the cannons aren't firing, so they're not going to pick us apart that way. Good. 
good, there we go. So now it's just a solid wall of square formations. Well, there they are. Successfully managing to bombard with these guys, I suspect. My foot artillery, so... So the horsemen are going to continue to be pecked at. Or shot to, sh shot to hell. So they're just advancing up artillery. Just loads of artillery. And artillery does not capture fortresses. And all we have to do is hold out for 20 more minutes. 20 more minutes and then we're, we're free. Ah. <laughs> I mean, these guys' ammunition's running out. These guys got lots of ammo, but it's got lots of place because lots of their comrades are dead. More suicidal cavalry charges. Okay, let's hold fly with you guys, especially as I bring my new infantry to bear. So let's bring this line infantry over here, maybe here, in case they think about doing something different. Put my native infantry in the armory, and they're coming back again. Lots of dead cavalry. See, I've got, I've got my my grenadiers set to be on guard mode, so they shouldn't be advancing out of the square to go chase them. Yet they are. As one set of horsemen routes, another set come in. Oh, that's my that's the armory that was captured, wasn't it? Yeah. Dari Horseman gave us a blast and we gave them a blast back. But yeah, I think this is going okay. Because they've not got. They're not committing their troops to actually take the city. So this battle I thought would be a real big concern. Uh, actually, is going to be okay. But it means next turn. Ooh, God. These guys might be a bit unhappy. As they aren't firing their shells. So I'm going to replace them with these men and let them be shot by friendly fire. Well, Bajir infantry and Hindu musketeers are coming in, so let's get some marines and native infantry over here. Oh, Pindari horsemen getting shot to bits. Good, that's 25 Bajir infantry knocked out. Hindi musketeers, I think, are trying to take the. They want to take. They want to take the, the house from my Pennsylvania rifles, which is fine. 
because they're about to run out of ammo anyway. And again, these guys are going to get some good shots on them. One gunner left. Go on, gunner. Go have him. The Indian musketeers are wavering. Our Pennsylvania rifles are holding out. Oh no. Let's get those grenadiers in there and let's put some marines on the flank. Turn fireball off. It's because these guys are now just going to attack them from the. Attack them in the flank. But again, there's no cavalry, so these guys may form up to actually form up a small battle line. Oh, our gunner routed. Just shoot him. Because my riflemen are running out of ammo, I'd probably like my... the 4th Imperial Stormtroopers to take position inside this house. Set on fire by rank. It's just lots of. There's not very many grenadiers down here they'll shoot at. Ooh. Can't afford to let them break us. Good. The region is ours. Not native infantry fire by rank. Fire will on. And they'll fire at the first 21st Dakili. Good, got some wavering already. Oh, and they're fine again. Some more wavering. I don't want to don't we generally want to get involved in the combat, just to be nearby. Stretch them out. This line it from unit charge in and sacrifice yourself. You'll hold them up. I can't afford to give up the central. The central area. God, they won. Alright. <laughs> Come back then. Actually, stay slightly off flank and off, off axis a moment. For when these guys charge in. 
Nope, they're routed too. Okay, let's fall back. Oh, more horsemen. Oh, these are skirmish horsemen, so... Fire will by you guys. That's horsemen routing. I can't believe that my gunner escape. Ten more minutes. Oh, the rocket troop have moved up. Most of the infantry here is infantry is actually routing. Oh, horsemen coming back. And they're going to be repelled. Yep. Good infantry. We've got some lances coming in. I just want to bring my lances over here. They can go clear out this gun team. There's only eight minutes left. Speed up time, although I'm not sure how much of a difference speeding up time will actually make. But right now no one's actually attacking, so it's just a bit of toing and froing with artillery fire. Like, got some infantry over here, but they seem more than content to just get blobbed at by quicklime shot. Obviously they miss, that's not very helpful, but... Oh, for, for a battle I thought would go so horrifically wrong, it just hasn't. Which is nice. Um, but if they attack us again, we're probably screwed. But hopefully, that should knock so many of them out of the, out of the zone, out of the area. So hopefully these guys should replenish a little bit. Oh, hang on. Hold your horses. They're trying it on. Okay, let's make sure I'm not going to massacre my own artillery team. Oh, these guys are actually... Well, don't, don't fall back. Looks like they want to try it on. Charging in. Bold. Nope, they've had enough. Let's just bring my melee tree back. Let's spread these guys out somewhat. Well, that was an easy enough kill. There's some dervishes coming in. There's their rocket troop is coming up. Oh, those are new. Those were new lancers. I was like, this is nowhere near where I ordered them to be. Run my lances out, part away from the dervishes, and just run them into the rocket tree. Even though the battle's about to be soon to be over, it, I may as well get a, a unit kill. Good, let's kill the rockets, and then let's just run, run my cavalry away. 
save them from being getting pot shots. I think we've also killed the guns up here. But I'm more than content just to watch out this last minute and breathe a heavy sigh of relief. Because hopefully that means it'll do them quite big, quite uh, huge amounts of damage on the campaign map. But it just goes to show how a really badly damaged fort can be better than a... Well, there's definitely a critical mass of damage where it starts to, you know, become more and more and more difficult. And then when it's so damaged, you just forget climbing, you forget garrisoning the walls at all and just form a killing zone inside your own fortress. I really hope I've not cut this up and I lose, but I shouldn't because I own the centre and that's my flag, damn it. There you go, that should be it. It should be a lovely victory. End battle, heroic victory. Yeesh. And more than a. Uh, God, look at that. 6,000 men lost. Now we're on parity. But. Yep, yeah, so there's not lots of troops back, but we need to. Oh, God, not another one. Stay away. But this is what the Indians do is you might knock them back once, but they'll come again and again. And again, and that's what I'm fear is going to happen with Bengal. Opportunity to accept. I'm going to take that opportunity because it's a pretty weak army. But looking at the timer, that'll take us well over um, our timer limit. And to be honest, I've got a bit of battle fatigue going on. I need to go get a drink. Radio, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time for another chewing up of a Maratha stack. Cheers, guys.